We're back on Access Carolina for a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. We might want to eat the traditional good luck foods on New Year's Day, but what do they mean, and how do you how do you make sure they're delicious? Chef Tony Keeley is here. Uh, he owns a private chef business, Chef Tony Keeley LLC. You cook multi-course meals uh, for small for groups people's of people's houses. Home, yeah, six to twelve people. Yeah. I go in and uh, do a five-course meal for you. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. a lot of life just you know is food and sharing these these moments together. You say your in-laws create a New Year's Day spread for you. They, they do for, for me and my wife. Uh, we'll go over there on New Year's Day and we usually have either ham or pork chops and then we have the fixings. So it, it's nice. It's so very nice. That's a tradition for them, a tradition for a lot of people. And so, you know, to, to start with the pork, the ham, this is a, considered a prime of a uh, sign of prosperity because pigs root forward. Because that's they why. root forward, yeah. So we're always moving forward, which is, is really good. So Typically, when you get a ham in the store, it's already been cured and then uh, smoked. So all you have to do is put a glaze on it, throw it in the oven, and heat it up. But if you'd like to, you can buy a raw one, local farmer, supplier, brine it overnight, uh, smoke it the next day. So it's about a two-day process. Okay, but really just one of the pre-done ones, you're just adding the glaze. You're That's just adding the glaze and throwing it in the oven okay. and, and, and heating it up. So it's already taken care of for you. So it's Even somebody good. who knows not their way around the kitchen can, can pull this together. Next thing, um, black-eyed peas. These are good luck as they, as they represent coins. Yes, yeah, so they represent the coins. Yeah. So uh, there's many stories out there, but during the Civil War when Sherman was Coming down through the south, the northern troops would raid the cities and then they would um, uh, pillage and take all the uh, food there. But they left these uh, black eyed peas fields of them. They thought it was like feed for the animal. Uh, so the Southerners ate it and they felt lucky. So it became a symbol of luck. That's very good. And when you put together, when you have black eyed peas out on the table, you uh, garnish it a little bit. I put a little chow chow on there. That's a, a good southern chow -chow staple there. right there. That's so. one of the uh, the condiments of good luck, That's right? a good a condiments of good luck. That's a big southern staple, you know, cabbage, uh, green tomatoes, a little bit of uh, peppers, uh, and making like a little relish going there. Some are sweet, some are hot. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so there are a lot of options, and you can flavor these up the way you like. Any There's way no you rules. like. There's no rules whatsoever. I mean, you got, we, I made some hot sauce here also, so mm -hmm. uh, I have a lunchbox peppers. I'm a wimp, so I, my wife likes hot, but I'll use a little bit of poblano, but these came out of my garden, and I made a hot sauce out of it. So we'll, we top that with uh, on your peas or your wherever you want hot sauce. Yeah, you that's wonderful, because, you know, sometimes people want to spice it up a little bit, know they're eating something. Be, um, collard greens. It's not a traditional New Year's Day meal without collard greens. You've got them on this plate right here in the middle. Um, what do you love about collard greens? What's their story? Yeah, collard greens. So that is uh, that represents the green money, the, uh, the paper money. So make sure you eat a lot of the uh, collard greens. But basically uh, just slow cook collard greens. It can be mm -hmm. mustard greens, um, turnip greens, any kind of greens with a little bit of ham hock. If you can't find a ham hock, you can do uh, bacon. Uh, and then saute the bacon, put it in, and just let it slow cook down. So and then yeah, you've got more pork, more good luck. So more bacon's luck. probably encouraged on any of these things. <laughs> yes, that is correct. And then finally, cornbread, a delicious representation of gold, is in gold coins. Yes, yeah, gold coins. So sometimes you'll find with uh, little kernels in there of corn, that's kind of like the gold nuggets. Uh, I've kind of elevated this and put poblano peppers in there, give a little bit of smokiness, but it's great. Cornbread is really good to go on top of your black eyed peas to soak up that pot liquor, which is the broth mm -hmm. that's left over uh, from cooking the beans. So. And aside from, you know, this meal being thought as being good luck, uh, do people automatically think this is the most delicious meal they're eating all day? And do you have <laughs> tips for, you know, how to, how to up your, your meal? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, basically, like you said, you want to uh, just slow cook, cook the greens, whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. my father-in-law will either grow some collard greens or something like that. So yes, we'll usually fresh. mix that in. Um, but you can buy them at the store, but there's like the farmer's markets. You can buy them, blanch them, freeze them, and then when New Year's comes up, because they're not Very in good. season, you can, you can knock them out. Yeah. And, and final thoughts on the lucky condiments that go along. Yeah, lucky condiments. I mean, whatever you want. Vinegar is really good. I love it mm. on my, uh, my greens here. Uh, if you want a little bit of a bite, you can take some diced uh, onions that go on there. All right, wonderful. Well, you make everything taste better, and you make it all make sense for us in the kitchen. Chef Tony Keeley, we appreciate it. Your recipes are on your Facebook page. Yes, I have those loaded today. Okay, awesome. And uh, people will love to work with you. We've got your information on screen now. So people can find you. They can connect with your private chef business. You'll create a party out of anything. I will. I will. All right. Thank Call you me. for being here. This segment will also be on accesscarolina.com. Chef Tony Keeley, thank you.